Well batted today, Rory. You uh, seem to be getting the hang of this test cricket thing. <laughs> Let's not speak too soon. Um, yeah, it was obviously you know a decent day, uh, but disappointed not to go on, yeah, in all honesty. How do you see the, the, sort of the match situation heading into day three tomorrow? Uh, I think it's tight, isn't it? I think, you know, it's a competitive title. We'd obviously have liked more runs if we, if we could have eked them out. But um, I think you've seen it's kept everyone interested all day. Um, you know, it seemed uh, if you miss your length, you've been able to, been able to punish it. And it's just offered a, started offering a little bit for the spinner. So, um, yeah, it's, it's poised quite nice, isn't it? Sam, yeah, go ahead. Rory, how are you feeling after copying those short balls from Pat Cummins? Uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> um, it's always nice to get in the scrap a little bit. Uh, you obviously got two dead in the same spot, which was which was nice. But um, yeah, just getting in amongst it and, and trying to tough it out. Does that tactic surprise you a little bit, given all the talk about how you are going to pitch the Duke's ball up for the seam and swing movement, but all of a sudden you're copying all these short balls? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, I've obviously batted a, a few balls so far in this test series and, you know, they're looking of, at different ways of getting me out. Uh, I think Nathan Lyon ran past me this morning and mentioned it uh, within about three balls. So, you know, I was well well versed in what I was looking and, you know, prepared for, for what I was getting. Um, but, yeah, it's just a good battle, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, along similar lines... Um how do you feel about your tail enders and kind of the, the treatment they're copying, the, the short ball barrages from, from Cummins and the like? Uh, it's obviously a quite, you know, quite an obvious tactic of what they're doing. So, the, you know, the boys are preparing for it. And, uh, you know, luckily we can dish out some of our own uh, in this game as well. You know, we've got some, some boys in our armory that do the same thing. So, um, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. Joffre is uh, looking forward to getting the, getting the ball when Cummins and the like come out. Uh, yeah, I thought so. I think you know he copped a fair few as well, so he's probably looking forward to getting his own back. Yeah. Um, hi. Um, really, just about Josh Hazelwood. Um, he just comes across as bowler. Him and Pat Cummins are pretty much the same height, but um, batsmen seem to kind of misread his full deliveries more than maybe Pat Cummins. Is it something that uh, you can elaborate on? It's just. A uh, Josh is probably a little bit more over the top, so he gets in quite tight, and he's, he's you know he's a little bit of a taller bowler. Whereas you know Pat, still he's quite a big guy, but he's a little bit skiddier. So um, you know it's just different trajectories that uh, come out and different angles on the crease. And so, just so does that make his full ability like a little bit like Josh? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I just think they're two different types of bowlers. Dan, and we'll do Rob. Uh, Clearly, it's, it's a difficult proposition with the balls moving around someone of the quality of Hazelwood, for example, is, is testing you out. But is there a sense of a bit of frustration that when it gets a bit easier, as we saw during the maybe the Wokes and Bairstow partnership later in the afternoon, that it's a lower order that are getting that to play in that rather than the, the middle or the top order? Uh, yeah, you know, it's probably a sense of disappointment there, but at the same time, I think. We're in amongst with a competitive title. Um, like I said, we could have eked out a few more and could have got a few more and uh, extended out at the end. But um, yeah, I think it's game on and we're right in amongst it. How, um, how impressive was uh, Stuart Broad's dismissal of um, David early on there? Uh, yeah, it's a good ball, wasn't it? I mean, you know, with the slope, everything set up there to, to go away from you and to manage to get it up the slope and, and clip the top of the bowels, it's a pretty handy delivery. But, um, you know, like I've said, I think if you get enough balls in a, in a decent area, there's enough for you. Um, there's, you know, there's a decent amount of movement there, so that's our challenge tomorrow. And three from three for Broad against Warner, do you think he, he might have the wood over him? <laughs> oh, it's too early to say yet. He's, you know, he's a very good player, but Broad is obviously, a, you know, a high quality operator and uh, he's, he's got the, got, you know, got him out a few times early on, which is uh, nice to see. Rory, is that Bancroft catch the best catch to ever dismiss you in cricket, ever? To ever dismiss me? Don't know, really. I can't really say I pay too much attention to, uh, to catches that get me out because generally when you're out, you're out. So it doesn't really matter if it was a good one or a, a bad one. Um, it's probably the second best I've seen at short leg. Uh, top goes to Will Jacks last year, YouTube. Thanks, you. Handy grab. <laughs>